it's Nancy today. Now you may wonder at my lovely new hat. This isn't actually a hat. What we've done, remember I got a hat from the dump? No, from off the wall in the reuse center. I mean it's like the salvation army, right? Except everything's free. Tightening this camera up. Okay, well I soaked the hat because the the crown was too small, right? Okay, now what we're going to do, we've taken the water out and now, of course it's still soaking wet, right? Oh, we don't want to get all wet. So we put a plastic bag over our head and then we put the hat on our head and then you press it. Press it to, and of course we've got on our raincoat in case it's dripping all down. Actually, I've got on rain shoes too, isn't that smart? Press it down until it really fits your head. See, this is how a straw hat can be can be um, whatever the word is called, changed, shaped, that's it. You push it down. When you've got it the way you want it, you take it off and you see now it's, it's not quite smooth, it's different, it's not flat anymore. And see how much bigger the crown is. It was a very small crown. Okay, and now I put it somewhere to dry. In this case, it will be up high where it's nice and warm in the room. Uh, up on here. Okay. Now, since I already did this yesterday, it's already dry. I'm just pretending this time. I see, and now I take off my nice hat, which is all dry. This is what happens when your batteries run out when you're trying to do something. There, how do you like it? You think it's good? I have it bent downward a bit so that you can see the flowers. If it's just a flat hat, you can only see it from the back. Is this in the center? There. And that is how you reshape a straw hat. Simple. So you can go looking for decorations on the wall if you want. Salvation Armies have them all the time. Now sometimes those hats are so tiny you don't want them. But this was a really big one. See? So now it fits. Okay, ta-ta, it's Nancy today, signing off.